Hey everyone, Craig Reckless. Today we're gonna do Heroes by David Bowie or the Wallflowers. They're both pretty much the same. So I'm gonna start out. Um, I'm gonna do this with, just with the lead guitar. I'm gonna do the rhythm too, but I'm gonna show you what the lead's doing first and then I'll come back and show you what the rhythm's doing. So when we start out with the lead, um, he's going. I don't know if he's, he's probably, he might have a whammy bar, he's just going and he's like, Woo, you know, or he's got an Ebo or something. I don't know if she know if they had Ebos way back then, but anyways, what I do, I'm going to show you what I do. So I don't have the whammy bar, so I'm not doing whammy bar thing, so I'm just going. So that's what I'm doing. So listen for that. So I'm playing. I'm putting my third finger on the uh, second string, 10th fret, so I'm hitting it, and I'm vibrating it every time. And then I'm going to bend it. And my bend's going to be a full bend to 12. That's what it's going to sound like, the to the 12. So what I'm going to do is I, I bend it. I'm gonna hit it back down. When I hit it back down, I'm gonna hit the note. So I'm gonna hit it bent. Back down to 10, and I'm, and I'm gonna shake it, you know, give it some vibrato. So that's what it's gonna sound like. It's gonna sound like this. So see how I keep hitting it? You don't have to hit it, you can actually just. It's going to depend on how much sound you get. So if you're getting next to your guitar and you're getting it almost feeding back, you might be able to get away with just hitting it one time. Okay, so you get, you put the feel in what you want to do with that, okay? And then after that, it's going to go... So I'll show you what we did there. So after the this, we're gonna come up to here. Now we're gonna do a half tone bend. I'm gonna take my third finger and put it on the seventh fret of the second string, and I'm going. So that that bend's gonna sound like this. So it's gonna sound like, that half tone bend. Gonna, it's gonna sound like it's going up to the eight. So it's gonna go. So what I'm doing there is I'm going. I'm doing my half tone band and I want it to come back down. So I'm going, now I'm going, my first finger is going to be on the fifth fret, second string, and I'm going to play that twice. And the second time I'm going to hammer down the seven. So I'm going to hammer down the seven on the second string, and then I'm going to bring my, my third finger back over to the third string. So I'm going to play 7-7, seven, seven, second string, then third string. See that? When I do the third string, I'm going to get that little vibrato. Now I'm going to go. So now I'm going to go. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do that half tone bend. Twice on the 5, hammer down on the 7. So now I hammer down on the 7, second string. I'm gonna, now I'm bringing my... Third finger over to the fourth instead of the third this time. See that? So I'm bringing it over to the fourth string. Now I'm going to go. So now I'm going to do in there is I'm taking my third finger. I'm going seven, nine, seven. And I'm going to go. Now I'm going to go. So I'm going to half tone bend and then I'm going to play the half tone bend on the seven. Second string, and then, and then I'm gonna go to, to the second string, fifth fret. I'm gonna do that again. Now I'm gonna 
Now I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna go. What I'm doing there is I'm putting my first finger on the um, fourth fret third string. My second finger is gonna go on the fifth fret second string. So I'm gonna go. So I'm gonna go four to five here, and I'm gonna slide down to two to three. See that? So what I'm doing is I'm going. So I'm just going back and forth from the third string to the second string when I'm doing that. So you do, you can do what you want. You can go and like hold that part, or you can do the. All right, so you put the feeling you want on that. So we're so I'm gonna show you how that comes out again. It's gonna go C, G, to D. Then it goes back to. So that's what I do like during the intro, like that, that. So when he's singing in the verse, I'm, I'm gonna go. Let's go back to. Then it goes to, uh, they're gonna go to a middle part where it's going, I. Then it goes back to Like you say, we can be heroes We're just gonna keep doing that we can be heroes. Do that as long as you want. And then towards the end, you can turn it into a little jam. Just do like a... So what I'm doing there is I'm doing the, the blues pinky thing. So I'm playing a D. And I'm going, my pinky's gonna go on the uh, fourth string, ninth fret. So when you do these, you, you these are always, these are always 90% of the time, I won't say always, or 90% of the time they're. So one, two, three, the, the pinky's gonna be three. One, two, three, the four is gonna be back to the D. So whatever chord you're playing, the third time is always the pinky, 90% of the time with these blues pinky things. So, so 
you can do that four times. So, yeah, I mean, this isn't the timing, it's like it's not like one, two, three, four, but in your head, count it one, two, three, four, and then three times, you're just gonna go. You do the same with the G. So, the G, the pinky's gonna go on the fifth string, seventh fret. So that's how I play the song. And, that's, and then it's through right now. That's the end of the song. But I want to show you the rhythm behind uh, this now, too. So the rhythm behind this, when it first starts, the intro is going to be D. So and in the song, I think he does that two or four times. Make it your own. So do as many as you want. So that's the intro. So like, so it's gonna be D and G. So you can do the blues pinky thing too, or you can just do D and G. Okay, so that's gonna be tw twice, four times, whatever you do it. So now with the with the. When we go in the verse and he's singing, it's gonna be twice. It's gonna do that twice. You know, D to the G, then back to the D, and the G. And he's gonna go to a C, and then he's gonna go to a D. Then he's gonna do the C, G, then to the D. And then it's gonna be back to. That's it. So I'm gonna do the verse one more time, and those are all the chords behind the uh, this song. So there shouldn't be. So you'll find the chords and put them where they're supposed to be. So this is gonna be the verse again. The verse is gonna be. Have a great day.